I don't want a bad review and I'm willing to gate. I'm willing to not ask people. I would rather not have any reviews. Just please don't ever give me a one star review. Right. right. And the problem is those happen organically anyway. Right. right. So what, what you're really doing with that is you are under representing yourself online. When you don't ask for a public reviews, you are underrepresented online. You're going to get some negative bad ones, especially on recon mm -hmm. jobs or things you can't control right in the yep. restoration space. Yep. It is yep. going to happen. So our kind of counter to that is, look, you have to play offense and be really great about getting reviews from your happy customers. And so we've got a methodology to do that. And, you know, overall, uh, Ben, I think a lot of businesses, they would love to be a 5.0 and never get a bad review. And I think that is a fallacy. You need to be at like a 4.5 to 4.9 kind of company that mm -hmm. has some things people want to see what goes wrong. 75% um, of people also read re review responses from businesses, yes. right? So people read the responses and you've done it in your own life, Ben. You've, mm -hmm. you've been considering a product or service and you go and you filter it to the negative reviews. Oh, right? and you want to yeah. see what pe how they responded really. And they can identify crazy and different things. Sure. So don't be afraid of that. That's going to happen sometimes. But what you also need is the vast majority of people, and especially recent ones, to say, yes, this was a great brand. I like them. We're going to continue moving forward with them because I trust them because they've done this work and it's been recently. And so I always tell people, look, you can, you can be a company that has 10 reviews this year at five stars and that's not really going to help your company as much, even though it feels okay. I would rather you be at a hundred reviews and have 90 to 95 five-star yeah. reviews in a few that went south. And that's mm -hmm. going to help you much more in search, much more with your marketing and help you look much more authentic and much more like a live company yeah. that people want to work with. And so you've got an alternative, you know, if you are, if you're too afraid of getting a, a bad review, recognize that you are sacrificing 10 times the amount of good reviews for that. And at least have that thought conversation with yourself. And, yeah. you know, we would challenge people to recognize every day that you do that, you're making a bad business decision and investing in the wrong thing. You yeah. can't operate in fear. You've got to operate in opportunity. And there's an yeah. opportunity in the restoration space right now to win in this by asking and getting your customers to leave you great reviews.